It's called the toughest sport on dirt. What compels a man to get on top of one ton of mean? These are the men who will risk it all, riding eight seconds to glory. Bull riders. You gotta wanna be the best. The rock stars of rodeo. Wild ass bulls. One grueling season. I hate that bull. Four determined cowboys. They've got us looking over our shoulders a little bit. In pursuit of the greatest prize. I'm not quitting no matter what. This is Hell on Hooves. It's the halfway point of the rodeo season. Since the spring, four of the country's best bull riders have been traveling together, taking in rodeos big and small. Veterans Chad Bestplug and Tyler Thompson have been mentoring two young guns, Tanner Byrne and Ty Pazabon. The fellows in this truck are feeling mighty proud. Their buddy, reigning Canadian champion Chad Bestplug, has earned himself one more notch in his belt. <laughs> I don't know, they almost seem more excited about it than I am. They, they, even today, they don't, they don't ever stop talking about it. So, <laughs> it, yeah, if anything, if anything, yeah, they're, they couldn't be happier. It's pretty, it's pretty cool to see your buddies be that excited for you. Just two weeks back, Chad competed for one of Rodeo's greatest trophy buckles. One of my goals for this year is winning Calgary, so I'm uh, really staying focused on that right now, and uh, I'm looking at, at everything leading up as a warm-up to that. Now, with his win at the Canadian Finals Rodeo the year before, Chad automatically qualified for a spot in the Grand Eddie All Rodeos, the Calgary Stampede. Chad took his place among 20 of the best bull riders from Canada and the United States. They'd go 10 rounds. The battle for top spot would come down to three finalists, and one of them would win $100,000 and the title of Calgary Stampede Champion. At this final round of competition, the rain wouldn't let up, and the arena had become a slick field of mud. It'd be a challenge for both man and beast. Everyone was on edge, and it'd all play out eight seconds at a time. Shane Proctor, who won the stampede a year ago, would ride first. A poor ride for Shane and a score to match, 66 and a half points. But if the remaining two bull riders buck off, Shane will win regardless of his score. Canadian bull riding legend Aaron Roy would ride next. For Aaron, a healthy 86 points, and he takes over the lead. Chad Bestplug would be the last to ride. All Chad needed now was an 86 and a quarter to win. Go ahead, go ahead, you're wanting to let it out. And then uh, there was the period of waiting while they check a score officially. And the markings come up as we try to wait their way here. Aaron Roy standing right by him. I got it here, Chad Best Plug.
With his mom and girlfriend looking on, Chad Bestplug wins his first ever Calgary Stampede. And he's the only Canadian to win one of the $100,000 grand prizes up for grabs on this auspicious 100th anniversary of the greatest outdoor show on earth. Because your bull rider is going to have some words with you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, your Calgary Stampede bull riding champion, Chad Bestplug. Chad, $100,000, that's a good payday. Have you any plans or any thoughts about what you do if you'd won today? Yeah, we've planned this for a couple weeks. Me and my, me and my traveling partners are going to Disneyland. <laughs> wow. You couldn't write the script any better. Well, I guess for me, I mean, it is definitely a life-changing event, but uh, at the same time, nothing's changed in my life and, and nothing's really gonna right now. I mean, this will help me set myself up in the future, but as of right now, it, nothing's changed. I still got to go to... I still have a whole year left, and I still have big plans for the rest of the year. So it's kind of, you know, once that day was over, it's it's like winning any other day. Um, the only difference is is I beat some of the best guys in the world that week, which which I haven't done before. 